Mm -hmm. Well, I'm gonna do it this way. There we go. That's perfect, Mongo. So, you can break up with your husband? Yeah. But why would I talk to you? Okay, that's one of that. Pretty quick. Okay, so I'm going to get started. Um, I wanted to tell you guys how I just fell in love with these little guys. Um, but unfortunately, <laughs> this is called um, having no sleep. So um, I have peppers, I just don't have the orange ones, so, but I think it's still okay. Um, I just thought these were adorable and I'm going to be super quick because this is actually a really super fast, um, meal and, um, I know it's kind of short notice for me doing this, but I don't know how I'm going to be later, so I thought this would be a very good time for me to do this. So what you're going to do is you're going to take your peppers and you're going to cut the tops off, right? Now I'm sure many of you have done stuffed peppers before, so this is not abnormal. Like this is nothing new. You're gonna take out the seeds. And you're gonna have it look like that. So I'm gonna have a yellow jack-o'-lantern, a red jack-o'-lantern, and a green jack-o'-lantern. But that's okay. I just think this would be something you could do with the kids. I mean, you would definitely have to be there with them, obviously, because it's a sharp knife. But I bet you you could use a fairly easy um, uh, paring knife or something that isn't too sharp because peppers aren't that tough to cut through. So I just thought this would be a really quick and fun recipe with Halloween coming and all the goblins and ghosts and all that kind of stuff. This would be a lot of fun. I can just see the kids, you know, wanting to eat these. And then, they, they, if they're not a vegetable eater, they might actually like to have the vegetables. So, um, my, a fun way of having eat their vegetables and, uh, you know. Then again, they might just end up eating the inside and not eating the pepper at all. But, you know, it's just a point of having family fun, right? So there's your three peppers, okay? I thought that would be nice and easy to do. And then you're gonna save these because you're gonna kind of cover them up like you do with a pumpkin. Now, um, in the recipe that I have on my blog, which is um, www.cupcakestokale.ca, um, it says to use ground turkey and now I couldn't find any and uh, so I'm using ground beef but by all means you know you use what you like to use for sure so I already have this is the best part I already have the uh, meat already cooked so all I'm gonna be doing is adding there we go, there we go. All I'm going to be adding pretty much is the ingredients and like I said this is really super easy um, so once the meat is browned and cooked then what you're going to do is you're going to add one cup of the black beans which I have here now one of the things I don't know if you guys notice that I always always try to make extra and the main reason for that is that I um, love to make more than one meal so that way later on if I find I don't have the time I'm already prepared so this recipe calls for rice I use quinoa and I have enough quinoa that I can um, use it for my salad for this week or um, any type of recipe that I'm cooking up. I've already got enough quinoa already cooked and then I don't have to worry about it. So that's one less um, thing that I have to cook up, which makes it super fast and super easy. And I will 
I'll show you that in just a sec. I'm just gonna add a little bit more quinoa because I think there's more ground beef here. So that's what it looks like. So we've got beans, we have quinoa. I mean, how super fun is this? So now you're just gonna start to add the spices, which is garlic, cumin, chili powder, and you can make it as spicy as you want, and you can make it as non-spicy. Now, it did say to add onion, so but sometimes people don't like onion, so you could obviously opt out for that and use um, uh, onion powder. So, a little bit of cumin here. Oh, I forgot to do the best part. I forgot to cut the, the, the little peppers. So after you cut the peppers, you're supposed to cut the faces. And that's what I was saying about the kids. That would be so much fun for the kids to, to help out with that part of it. All right, because if you can cut through a pumpkin that tough, I'm sure you could do a pepper. So I have a little bit of chili powder here. I'm gonna toss that in. There we go. And some garlic. Okay. All right. I knew you were getting married. Never. Because we said no for There we go. So that's it's looking really good. I'll show you there. There we go. And you're gonna stuff those little suckers. And then you're gonna sprinkle a little bit of cheese on top if you want cheese. And then you're gonna put them in the oven at 400 for about 15 minutes, and then you're good to go. So that is there. All right, and then you're just gonna add one cup of the sauce, yeah. spaghetti sauce, or there we go. I'm gonna pour that in there. Put that in the and then you're just gonna give this a toss. Ooh, I didn't get it in my shirt. Not too bad considering. What an easy meal and what a fun meal. There we go, and we're done. That is it, my friends. So like I said, if you like this meal, if you want to check it out, if you want to um, make it with the kids or make it for the kids as a surprise, um, it is super fun and super easy. And uh, like I said, you could make all kinds of faces with the peppers. That would be kind of fun. So there we go. And that's it. So pretty much only part that takes time would be the... Um, uh, cooking of the meat. This is definitely a keeper for me, so I'm just gonna put it there because I forgot to do the best part. So we've got the only thing it did say was with your dish to put a little bit of water in it, and then that'll help with the peppers for cooking. And then I got a little bit of a sharp knife, so we're just gonna cut a little bit of a, a triangle. I have never been good at making pumpkin faces. Some of those people, they get so, um, the designs and everything, it's crazy, you know, like how wonderful they are. Oh my God, this guy's going to look so goofy. Good thing it's just for me. Mom would need these. There we go. I'll just pop that out. It is like doing a pumpkin face. I'll show you in just a sec. This is kind of fun. <laughs> Maybe it's just because I'm tired, but I thought this was a lot of fun. I thought the kids would love this. I would definitely be doing this with my girls if they were young enough. Okay, here we go. <laughs> How was that? Look at that. Isn't that fun?
then we're just gonna set him in there. And we're gonna do this little guy. You could do anything. There we go. And it is really easy because it's a lot softer of a, um, nope, I think I got a little carried away with the eye there. So. <laughs> oh, we got a little bit of a bottom tooth now here. So you don't want to make them too big, I don't think, because then the stuffing would come out, I would think, hey? But there we go. Pop his little mouth out. Don't want to take his tooth away. There we go. Oh, it looks like a vampire. There. <laughs> I'll put him here. We got that one there. Can you see him? We got that guy there. And then I have a red one. And this guy's a little short. I did a little crazy there. So I'm just going to do another little square. Square. One. Oh, this guy's lopsided. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> All right, and then just kind of cut it a little bit. I mean, I don't know if this kind of encourages playing with food or not, but I think it's cute. There. So then you're just going to take the stuffing, put that in there. There. And then you're going to put the top, put a little, sprinkle a little bit of cheese on there. Aw, oh, thanks guys. And then there you go. There's your little... Now, granted, it's not orange, but these are so cute. I actually found this recipe on my uh, Beachbody website. Aren't those adorable? Could you see your kids getting in these? Could really stuff these guys. There we go. What do you think? Hey, eh? they're cute little buggers, eh? Cute little buggers. There you go. So that's what I thought would be a cute little Tuesday, um, tasty Tuesday. Um, have have fun with it. You know, like I said, just because we're older doesn't mean we can't have fun on Halloween, right? Thanks guys, I appreciate that. So I'm just gonna stick these guys in the oven for about 15 minutes and then they should be done. And you guys enjoy your Tuesday night. And um, yeah, try it out. Um, like I said, I posted it on my, my, my website, which is absolutely awesome. Yeah, I think they're adorable, I really do. I mean, obviously you're gonna want orange, but um, I mean, really doesn't matter. I think it's just the idea of the little faces. I think they're cute. Um, so yeah, go ahead and uh, try it out. Um, I actually got this on my website, um, or not my website, but my Beachbody website, and I thought I was just too cute to miss up, and I love to do things like that. So thank you guys so much for joining me, and like I said, you're going to um, go to my website, www cupcakestokale.ca and that will have the full description of the recipe and um, your ingredients. So um, like I said, the only thing I did differently was I switched the rice with the quinoa and I also switched the meat with um, the um, ground beef instead of ground turkey. So I mean, but I bet you you could even do this uh, meatless if you wanted to. So have a great Tuesday. Um, and uh, enjoy your day and it's windy as heck out there for me so um, my poor boy Wiley he's out there he won't come in for a couple days I'm sure he does not do well with the wind so thank you so much guys and I will talk to you soon next week I will be doing another video